Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Monday through Thursday. Now, I am going to be using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'll use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, and my job is just to deliver the message. Now, any cards that do come out that are reversed, just remember they have a little stronger energy. Um, also, too, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It does help with the algorithms and it helps to get the videos out there. And, you know, but I do know that the message does get delivered to whoever needs to have this message. So, not too worried about it, but let's, if you would, that would be nice. Anyway, um, you know, just kind of letting you know, on the 14th, in the afternoon, about 1 something in the p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus goes into Taurus. And this will help with a, this will bring about some stability in some of the relationships. Now, the only thing was, and I'm, I was trying to find why I was getting this feeling per se, but I was kind of feeling like some unusual energies around the 13th and the 14th, possibly even starting the evening of the 12th. So kind of like the evening of the 12th, 13th all day and possibly early 14th. You know, I mean, I'm going to use the astrological word of, I just felt like it was wonky, okay? A little bit off. When I feel like that, my best advice is not to get worried, not to be afraid. It's not that. Remember, fear is the tool of the darker side. So we're not doing that one. Sometimes it's just good to just kind of stay close to, at hand, close to your home. And I know many of you are still, you know, in quarantine. Many of you are getting out and about. So it is a good time. It might be good just to kind of stay close to your home those, those couple of those days and just, you know, just feel comfortable. Just feel comfortable and watch. Watch and see what happens. So let's see if something does happen. I don't know. I just felt like the energies were just a little bit wonky. <laughs> okay? So what would that be? W-O-N-K-Y? Wonky? Anyway, let's start our readings now. Hi, my Aquarians. How are you? Well, let's see. I do feel like, oh, I feel like your wings are flying. I feel like you're you're getting out of dodge or whatever whatever those sayings would be. I feel like it's time for you to fly away. Anyway, let's see what we have for this week. Like I said, this energy is going to be strange energy. I just feel strange energy, especially evening of the 12th, 13th, and then more of the morning of the 14th. Anyway, so let's see what we have for you. But I, can't, I, feel, I feel like, you know, like you're a bird that's left the cage. Let's see if the cards say that too. Here we are. Okay, nothing is reversed. First card, the five of Raphael. Fives has some change energy to it. Positive, negative, neutral, it doesn't matter. It's just always a little bit on the stressful side. Raphael is your water energy. It is your Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. There is a spiritual energy. Let things happen. Let things happen. Now, I'm not saying that you take, you know, that you just, if there is a way that you have to interact or intervene, I'm not saying not to, not to intervene, but I'm just saying things are happening around you that need to happen. Okay, it's like it needs to it needs to come to this head. It needs to it needs to be what it is. And there may not be a lot that you can do about it. I kind of feel like you're a watcher in a way and you're just watching as all of this tumbles around you. And you can be there to help in the support department. You can be there to help in the emotional, um, you know, lifting department. But the thing is, it's just things are happening around you. Changes are happening. You may, you know, that you may not necessarily be able to, um, 
It, it has to happen. It just has to happen the way it's happening. Okay? Let's see. Anyway, everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. The thing is, though, it's it. The reason, again, whatever this is, however this is, again, I feel like it's a cage, like you're the bird in the gilded cage, and the cage has to open so you can fly out. Let's go on. Let's see your next card. The Queen of Ariel. Now, Queen's underlying energy is water. Okay, so we talked about that. Ariel is earth energy. Um, it is our Taurus, our Virgo, our Capricorn. It is very solid earth energy, something you can touch. A lot of times has to do with your home or your money or your job or how you spend your money or just the people, you know, just whoever makes up your home also. So the queen has this, the queen of Ariel is very, you know, the, is very practical, loving, but at the same time, let's say again, practical, practical. But the queen does take care of the needs, okay? The physical needs, whatever has to happen, whatever needs to be done, whatever. So, you know, if somebody, if the, if, um, if the queen or the prince or the king needs new shoes, they're going to go get the new shoes, okay? They're going to, they're very practical in that manner. So, whatever this is, there's also you, possibly you, queen, male or female, doesn't really matter, coming in, being very caring, loving, but then taking care of business also. The thing is that you have to remember not to step on people, and you have to remember that um, you're there to help and to guide and to lift up. Anyway, let's go on. So, mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. So kind of between the two of this, I kind of get this watching. You're watching something unfold, watching things move around. You're there to create, to be, you know, to create stability. You're there to actually kind of, you, you know, the whatever's happening around you, people may think you're picking up the pieces. You're really not picking up the pieces because if things had to happen, you're basically just clearing the way also. And you're there to give a very, you know, there's a lot of love and emotional support at the same time. But I don't want you carrying whatever this is on your shoulders, okay? It has to happen this way. Anyway, next card is change your life. So we have a 16. We have a 1 or a 10, 1 new beginnings, 10's transition. 6 is very much human energy, okay? It's very much man energy. It's kind of like what you've made with the situation. You add the 1 and the 6 together, it becomes a 7. 7's seven. have a divine energy, divine umbrella, kind of like you do what you can do, and then you give it up to your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine archangel, Shamuel, Okay? So something's happening around you. you got to let it go. Again, remember I told you you were like the bird in the cage. The door opens. You have a chance now to change things, not only for yourself, but for the people around you. There's actually, you know, again, I, I really want to caution you about carrying it on your shoulders, yet at the same time, you bring about, you make things happen, you are the one that's actually supporting, and you are the one that's actually creating a lot of this change. But you may not see it that way. You may not see. You may feel like you're just that little ping pong being paddled between the two, you know, ping pong paddles, kind of going back, back, back. But you are actually in more control than you think. And um, there, there's some... You know, my, my Aquarians, there's some, I mean, I just see you, I'm surprised we don't have like the Queen of Fire or the Queen of Gabriel because I see you stepping in and kind of like, you know, stepping in and going kind of like you over there, you over there, you over there. So there, there's kind of, there's some real strength here for you too. Anyway, change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. So let's see what we have here. And see from my Aquarians. So there's, 
like I said, it, 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 I mean, the, there's kind of the, again, it had to happen. It has to happen this way. But you, you are there to make, you are there, I don't know, to pick up pieces. It's, it's not, it, okay, I'm not going to try to understand it. It's best when I don't. But let's see what we have here. Let's go on. But it does make some big changes. And, it, you know, there's, there's a freedom. Like I said, I mean, okay, I can keep talking about that bird, but there's freedom. There's freedom for you. Your last card, two of air. Now, air energy is your energy. It is also Libra and Gemini energy. It is thought processes. It could be about hearing news. It could be about making some plans. Twos have some crossroads. Twos has some decisions. Are you going to, you know, so there could be, you know, maybe you want to step in, maybe. But again, I'm going to tell you, it has to happen. It is, you have to let, you know, tr so I guess the thing would be, it's like if somebody, need, if somebody beside yourself needs a lesson, that they're learning a lesson, and if you keep stepping in and helping them, they're never going to learn their lesson. And that's not always easy, okay? So again, I keep getting this thing. It has to happen this way. So. The two of air, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So it might be that, you know, again, that could be you. That could be somebody around you. You may want to step in. Again, it's not on your shoulders. It's, you know, it has to happen. And like I said, sometimes we, hey, and I've done this. I've done it. We stop, you know, we stop the person because we are so helpful. We stop the person from learning the lesson that they needed to learn. Oh, this card just kind of slid right out. So we're going to see what crystal or energy is helpful for my Aquarians. Here we are. Amber, and I do have amber somewhere here. Here's my amber. This was $12. Here we go. Here is amber. Harmony, home protection, calm attracts love. So if you have something like this, carry it with you, put it at your bedside. It will, you know, it'll help. It'll, you know, the harmony and the calm and the home protection in itself, it's so worth that. Anyway, my Aquarius is very interesting stuff, but remember the button, and I talked about it earlier, but please like, share, subscribe as Always, my Aquariuses, know that you are truly loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.